Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I have this nail tutorial for this fun 80s neon nail design. All the neon polishes I use for this design are from the new China Glaze Light Brights collection and I have a review and live swatches of that entire collection and I'll put a link to that down below so you can go ahead and take a look at that if you want to. And they're all great polishes with great formula. The ones I use were all pink to that, lime after lime, whip it good, none of your risky business, and I got a blue attitude. As always, start off with a good base coat. I use CND Sticky Base, and then I did two coats of each one polish on all my nails. And the orange polish is in my thumb, but it is not shown. For applying two coats of each of those polishes on my nails, I'm gonna go ahead and add a fast dry top coat so that I make sure it's completely dry. And I'll be using these skinny straight stickers from What's Up Nails for this design. Okay, so you just wanna go ahead and get those stickers. I usually sit mine on the edge of the table so they're easy to grab. And I've already done two, but I just do different designs for each nail. Some I do double lines, and some I do single lines, and I'm just having the crosses be in different places. Just make sure that when you apply it that you press down firmly and also right before you paint on top of them that they're pressed down so they don't leak. And sometimes they will leak but I'll show you some things to fix that if that does happen. So go ahead and get those the way that you want them. And I'm going to come in with my black nail polish and do a top coat over that. And this I got a little bit thick so I'll come back and just make that not so thick. If you get it too thick it will kind of leak underneath when you pull it up. So I'm just taking some of that off and then go ahead and pull those stickers right off in the order opposite that you put them on. And then move on to the next nail. This one was probably the trickiest, this double cross. Just make sure that you get in all the areas and make sure that it's covered and there's no gaps in between. You can just kind of brush at different angles to do that. And as soon as you're finished with that, you want to make sure to take those right off. And now move on to the next finger. And you will see when I pulled these stickers off that some of the black did leak underneath. And I'll show you some tips on how to fix that in a minute. And then do the same thing to the next finger. Okay, now I'm going to come in with a small brush and some acetone, some pure acetone, and just gently brush on top of that, cleaning it off in between so that the black doesn't stain the polish underneath, but you just want to carefully wipe that off with the acetone. And you don't want to go over it too much or it will eventually take off the pink polish, but if it does a little bit, you can always go back with polish on that same brush and just paint it on over top. And for some reason, it didn't record the last portion of my video, which I'm pretty bummed about. Sorry about that. I didn't have time to go back and re-record it. But anyway, um, next thing you want to do is make sure you clean up around the edges. Now I just have a video on how I paint my nails and it tells you how I do my cleanup. So I'll put a link to that down below and you can check that out. And then once your manicure has completely dried, you want to go ahead and add a fast dry top coat. I like to use HK Girl by Glisten and Glow. And that's the final look. I hope you guys like this design. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And let me know if you try this out. I'd like to know if you try it for yourself. So thanks. We'll talk to you guys later.